Cesar Delgado from Back Roads of Illinois. Our guest today is Eric Burns from Farm Progress in Houston, Texas. Eric is an executive director of Farm Progress. Progress. How did you decide to go to be in this position? Um, yeah, well, I, um, I'd been a digital uh, editor at several um, you know, uh, newspapers for their, for their online editions. I was at the Houston Chronicle, the San Antonio Express News, uh, MLive.com in Michigan, uh, and the Austin American Statesman. Um, before that, I was a, a newscast director at some TV stations in Georgia. Um, so I've, I've been around quite a bit. Uh, I had uh, uh, just I joined Hearst Newspapers corporate level, and one of my my uh, old supervisor from when I was at MLive.com in Michigan reached out to me uh, when I was with Hearst to ask if I was interested in uh, B2B magazines in the agriculture space. And it was something that really appealed to me. You know, I grew up in the Kansas City area, go Chiefs. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> just wanted to, uh, yeah, kind of get back to my roots. Uh, you know, uh, and, you know, growing up on a farm out in, I, from a little town called Peculiar, Missouri, out south of Kansas City. And, uh, you know, so <clears throat> grew up in, in a rural area and just, uh, just wanted to kind of get back and explore uh, just the real business of agriculture. It's, it's been Extremely rewarding. I love it every day. Every day at work is uh, is just an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it really was. You know, my uh, you know staying in touch with those old uh, bosses really really pays off. Um, and you know, uh, when you leave places, make sure you leave uh, uh, happy happy folks behind you. So. For sure. And, and uh, you know, it's been it's been a, a great career all around anyway. So. Tell us about history of the company. Could you tell us about that? <clears throat> sure. Um, you know, I mean, Farm Progress is, um, you know, we have a family of, of agriculture magazines the date back longer than the, any other publications in the country. You know, Prairie Farmer is the longest continually published magazine in the U.S. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> been around over 175 years. Abraham Lincoln was a subscriber back in the day. Um, so, so, you know, we've been around. We, we know the business. We know, um, you know, what the readers want and the best way to serve them. You know, we're not too flashy. We're not too... Um, uh, you know, we, we just, we give people the best information, uh, you know, our audience to, to grow the most profitable, uh, crop they can and livestock for that matter. Um, but yeah, and you know, some of the other publications we have, you know, we have about all, all these state publications, Missouri Ruralist, you know, my grandfather subscribed to Missouri Ruralist, um, Laura Ingalls Wilder was a columnist for Missouri Ruralist. So that's just, you know, it's just, it's deep, deep in our, uh, deep in our DNA. Um, at, at Farm Progress to uh, to really you know, know what's going on in the in the lives of farmers, um, and then we also have national publications. We have a whole set of livestock publications: Beef Magazine, National Hog Farmer, uh, Feedstuffs. Um, you know uh, those you know are, are hugely important to to our audience. Those are all digital only publications. So you know we're also you know in the you know we're very modern in the way we approach these things. And then we have Farm Futures, which is, of course, our marketing uh, magazine, marketing and business. Um, just has a new editor, Pam Caraway, just um, uh, moved into the editor position, uh, you know, uh, after, um, you know, myself and Mike Wilson were promoted um, after Willie Vogt's retirement last year. Um, you know, uh, Pam moved into Mike's old position of, of being the editor at Farm Futures, and she's doing great. I just got off the phone with her. We're go deep diving on some analytics for, for Farm Futures. We are. Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, are, you know, one of the things that I like about the Farm Progress Company and I thought Gil Gullickson, who just joined us as the editor at uh, Wallace's Farmer, which of course has an, another incredible history behind it. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, he, he, he was excited to, to join, rejoin 
farm progress um, because he said, you know, we're just, we're dirt under the fingernails people. We actually get out in the fields. We're talking to farmers. We'll go spend a whole day on a farm, um, you know, the, talking to a, uh, you know, to a farmer and get to know their family. And we just, we get, I think we just get deeper in with, um, with the agriculture industry and and the producers and the farmers and our neighbors than I think just about anybody else. It's what we focus on. Years ago, um, you know, in Dakota, in the Dakotas and Minnesota, and I makes his home in Iowa and we had an opening there. So uh, we were able to, um, uh, to get him landed in that uh, key spot. I mean, you know, Iowa's, a lot of ways, you know, the center of the agriculture industry for us. So we're, um, we're happy to have, uh, you know, somebody with his track record, you know, he's won multiple writers of the year awards. Um, he's um, a, a really strong talent and we're happy to have him on board. <clears throat> what is from the future and the foreign progress? Could you tell our listeners Absolutely. Yeah. We're, you know, um, you know, last year we, you know, we had a, a big year. We launched our, our, our complete site redesign and site, um, uh, even the architecture mm -hmm. and simplified navigation. Um, we've made the site just a whole lot faster. Um, <clears throat> so we've kind of built a, a platform. We've seen incredible growth um, for the audience on the, on the site as well. Um, so for this year, you know, we're we're looking at kind of taking that platform and going next level doing, you know, we'll probably, you know, be doing, you know, the significant amounts of video. You know, we we're going to be working more closely with uh, This Week in Agribusiness. Um, you know, um, we we've always had a relationship there, um, uh, but it's it's gotten even tighter over the over the last year, so with with Mike Pearson there, and of course still Max, we love Max. Um, we're going to keep um, you know building. Yep, yep. We're going to keep building that relationship and probably taking some advantage of some of the things uh, that 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 Mike and and Max can can help us with to reach the audience from a you know a broadcast perspective and and then just video on farmprogress.com itself and and our you know our editors at all of the magazines you know we're we're investing mm -hmm. in equipment and training for them to be able to do more video. Uh, we also, we started a podcast this year, uh, FP Next, um, hosted by Kurt Ahrens and Sarah McNaughton. That's out there. Um, it's already off to a, a really strong start. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. They, um, Sarah is a young farmer um, uh, out in, in the Dakotas and Kurt is uh, you know, a, an experienced farmer. He's been around for a long time, had his own farm, uh, for quite a while, and and he is the editor of Nebraska Farmers. Well, they are uh, connected, um, you know, just by geography, um, but also just you know they they work closely together anyway, and they just have a real uh, interesting take on 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 agriculture and have some uh, some really strong guests. Um, in fact, uh, they just had Jackie Holland from Farm Futures as a guest and, and had a quite a bit of listenership as well on that one. And uh, just talking about it was a one-on-one and you know, like a marketing one-on-one class um, that you could uh, just go back and listen to. And then that's available on, uh, of course you can find it on the podcast page, but there's a link at the top, very, very top of farmprogress.com. Um, but you can also listen on Spotify or uh, Apple, um, Google podcast. So uh, it's available um, all around. Um, but yeah, that's that's some of the many things we've got lots planned and just, you know, uh, we're really focused on um, finding out what our audience truly wants uh, to um, to learn about what they need, what you know, what what they're looking for. Um, so, you know, as the you know, my responsibility is mostly around digital. Uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, of research into uh, user habits, what they're, you know, how people get to our site, what they're looking for, what they're not looking for, and then, you know, helping guide our editors in, you know, content that is uh, relevant to, um, to our audience.
Do you have final thoughts on the farm progress or the other thing is for the farm progress? Um, you know, that you know, just uh, if you haven't been to farm progress in a while, come, you, know, you might want to come back and sign up for a newsletter. Uh, you know, on Farm Futures, we have two newsletters every day that go out the morning report and an afternoon report. Um, those are really widely read. You know, the uh, thing is that you get analysis. It's uh, we don't charge for it at all. It comes right to your inbox and it's the latest news. We got, you know, Jackie Holland and Ben Potter, who um, are both really knowledgeable on the markets and provide you some, um, you know, the, the, some of the best information out there. Um, and, you know, we're, we're, we're here for it. So we've got lots of ways to engage, um, you know, with the audience, whether it's on social or uh, we have a text message that goes out every day as well. Um, and uh, it's just, yeah, we are out there day in and day out reaching farmers and trying to do more. And uh, I, I hope people will check us out if they haven't in a while. Things have, things have changed and uh, uh, going to keep, keep changing and evolving. My pleasure that you joined the show for today. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Caesar. It's always a pleasure. The show anytime. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Good talking with you. This is Eric Burns from Farm Progress in Houston, Texas, from Back Roads of Illinois. I am Caesar Delgado. Have a great day.